Well, good morning, everybody, and welcome to Kings at Home Daily this Monday morning. Um, uh, welcome from me, Goff, by the way, and we're coming to the conclusion, the close of our uh, study that's gone on for quite a long time now, going through the book of Revelation, 10 minutes a day. And we're in chapter 21. We'll probably finish this week. Um, so we need to be thinking what we'll do next. But first, let's pray and see what the Lord has for us this morning. Lord Jesus, we, we want to keep looking in your direction. Lord, day by day, we want to fix our eyes upon you, Lord Jesus, the author and the perfecter of our faith. And this morning, as we read some beautiful, wonderful, amazing words, would you help us? Lord, we want heaven's perspective we want to live for you today so please speak to us i pray come help us holy spirit in jesus name <clears throat> amen well you, you as i say you've done so well sticking with us through all through the book of revelation um we've seen there are uh, it, 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 there, we've seen seven we've been through seven we're on the seventh vision now there have been six visions showing the church age from different perspectives the church age between the first coming and the second coming we saw the scroll and and uh, seven scroll seven seals on the scroll and the tr seven trumpets uh, seven bowls of wrath and so on and uh, now we're at the last that we were in the last vision and this vision is just focusing on the future we're now um, we, we, we've seen the destruction of worldly worldly culture godless anti-christ uh, culture um, and now we're in chapter 21, and it's beautiful. Let, uh, let, me, let me read to you. Then I saw a new heaven and a new earth, for the first heaven and the first earth had passed away, and there was no longer any sea. Well, I'm going to stop there because there's quite a lot, <laughs> a lot to talk about there. Uh, so uh, the first thing you'll notice, uh, new, new heaven, new earth, that the first had passed away. In what sense is it going to be new? New heaven, new, when we talk about new heaven, new earth, in what sense is it new? Because um, in Peter, in 2 Peter, um, he says something like this, verse 8, 2 Peter chapter 3, verse 8. Don't forget this, one, one thing, dear friends, with the Lord a day is like a thousand years and a thousand days are like a thousand years are like a day. The Lord is not slow in keeping his promise, Psalms. Uh, but the day of the Lord will come like a thief. The heavens will disappear with a roar. The elements will be destroyed by fire. And the earth and everything in it laid bare. Since everything will be destroyed in this way, what kind of people ought we to be? So that would seem to, to, to speak of, a, of being destroyed. Um, so what, what is our expectation? New heaven, new earth. Well, this week I'm probably going to read as much to you from um, uh, the last battle, <laughs> C.S. Lewis, as from the Bible. Well, no, no, I exaggerate, but because there's no one who really captures uh, the essence of uh, a, a, a biblical expectation, quite like C.S. Lewis. So, in what sense is it going to be new? Well, first of all, of course, don't forget that when, when the Lord created heaven and the earth, um, he looked on it and he said each day and uh, it was good it was good it was good it was very good so there's something good and beautiful and of course Eden was where it all began way back you know the, the, the beginning of time um, and, 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 and God created that for his glory so w what is is there a continuity um, I know as a child, I used to have sort of thoughts of heaven and, and so on, quite scary. I didn't, I didn't like the idea, sort of all harsh gold and, and, uh, and, and, and so on. And no sea, we saw that, you know. Well, what on earth? What's it like? Well, of course, we, 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 we've been saying through the book of Revelation that it's, it's, a, it's apocalyptic writing, which um, doesn't mean the way we use that word as scary, that sort of thing. Apocalyptic, it's kind of hidden it's revealing things hidden they were writing at a time of persecution so they couldn't exactly say <laughs> um, Rome's the problem and Nero's the problem they, they, they had to write in a subtle way uh, with caricatures and so on 
And of course, the, the sea, we know it in the Bible, there's lots, so there's lots of symbols in the book of Revelation. And the sea is, is a picture of um, uh, sort of uh, out of control, the enemy, sin, uh, coming out, the beast coming out of the sea. So it's an image of, 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 the, sort of the, the raging out of control sea. And it's, it's now a sea of glass. Um, so it's, it's symbolic. I hope there'll be some sea there for some good sailing. Um, so in what sense, when it says there, it will all be made new? Well, uh, if you have read The Last Battle, uh, from, you will know, you, you remember the story in The, la in the Last Battle. Um, it, it, I can't tell you all the detail, I'll give it all away. But um, they go through a door. It's a stable door. Yes, you see the connection. They're going through a stable door and into a new world. And it looks kind of very familiar, but different. And let me just read you a few things from there. Uh, this is speaking of Aslan first. He went to the door and they all followed him. He raised his head and roared, now it is time. Then louder, time. Then so loud, it could have shaken the stars. Time, the door flew open <clears throat> excuse me they all stood beside adler aslan on his right side and looked through the open doorway looking back at the earth the bonfire had gone out on the earth all was black i'm not going to read it all just going to read bits and pieces immediately the sky became full of shooting stars each one shooting star is a fine thing to see but these were dozens then scores then hundreds till it was like silver rain and it went on and on with a thrill of wonder and there was some terror in it too they all suddenly realized what was happening the spreading blackness was not a cloud at all it was simply emptiness all the stars were falling aslan had called them home <laughs> It's just, it fires your imagination, doesn't it? It really does. Then the moon came up. The sun began shooting out her great flames. Great lumps of fire came dropping out of it into the sea, and the clouds of steam rose up. Then Aslan, Aslan said, now make an end. Um, they walked away from the door. Let me just skip on. I can't read too much. Um, then I looked about me and saw the sky and the wide lands and smelt the sweetness and I said this is a pleasant place it may be that I'm come to the country of Tash uh, the most beautiful place that he could think of and, and then uh, Lucy says a few things she says um, I bet there isn't a country like this anywhere in our world look at the colors uh, they're like ours and yet they're not like ours they're, they're different they have more colors on them and they they look further away than I remember them more more oh I don't know more like the real thing, said Lord Diggory softly. <laughs> and it's all so different, said Lucy. The eagle's right, said the Lord, said, said, said Lord Diggory. Listen, Peter, when Aslan said you could never go back, to, he, he meant the, 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 the old Narnie that you were thinking of, but that wasn't the real one. That had a beginning and an end. It was a shadow or a copy of the real Narnia, which has always been here and always will be. All of the old Narnia that mattered, all the dear creatures have been drawn into the real Narnia through the door. And of course, it is different, as different as the real thing is from a shadow or as walking life is from, walking life is, is from a dream. So I hope you got something out of that. So, um, new heaven, new earth. Yes, wonderful, new. Will it have likeness to the old? Absolutely, I believe it will, because the first creation was good. It was beautiful, and yet it, the new, when, it, when all things are made new, I, I don't know, is it a sort of a metamorphosis? I, I, you know, I, I, don't know, I don't know, but it'll be new, beautiful, uh, lasting, um, as, uh, as, as hinted at there in um, The Last Battle. And, and so, will there, you know, people ask questions, will there be animals in, in heaven? Well, I think there will, yes, I do. I believe that the, the, the beauty of the first creation will be part of the, the new creation, but it'll be different. Uh, does that make sense? Um, goodness me, my time's gone. I've only done one verse this morning. Um, so, uh, folks, that, that's, that's, that, that's what we look for. That's, 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 the, that's Bible, that, that's Bible teaching. That, that's the creeds that, we, that have been said for generations. New heaven, new earth. And we're gonna see what is the real focus as we go through this week.
But Lord, thank you so much. You are the Lord of all creation. Lord Jesus, thank you. You reign. Thank you that it is your intention to make all things new. Thank you. We have a hope and a future. We are not hopeless. We're not left uh, wondering what on earth the future holds. We thank you that in Christ we have a beautiful future. And Lord, I pray today, uh, may we live with that sense of our great future in you. That Lord, in these days of, of fear and confusion and uncertainty, Lord, I pray that we would keep alive in our hearts the beautiful, wonderful future that we have, knowing you, being with you, enjoying the beauty of your creation. So go with us today, Lord. I thank you so much. We are not as those with no hope. We have a wonderful hope in you. I pray, help us to live in the light of that today. In Jesus' name. Amen. Well, I'll try and go a bit further tomorrow and uh, read more of the Bible and less of C.S. Lewis. But I hope today was helpful. See you tomorrow.